as the great Buddha once said, he who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. In the light of this profound wisdom, we ask ourselves, how can we attain true mastery over our emotions and unlock the might within? If you're ready for this transformative exploration, hit that subscribe button, because today's episode is a key to personal empowerment. Let's journey together into the teachings of Buddhism, uncovering seven essential lessons for mastering your emotions and discovering the mightier self within. Lesson 1. Reflect before reacting. In the whirlwind of our daily lives, it's all too common to find ourselves swept away by the currents of our emotions, reacting hastily to the stimuli that surround us. Lesson 1 gently guides us to break this cycle by introducing the powerful practice of reflection before reaction. Picture this practice as a brief interlude in the chaotic dance of life, a moment to pause, take a step back, and objectively observe the emotions that may be swirling within. Imagine it as a mental pit stop, where you momentarily detach yourself from the immediacy of a situation to engage in thoughtful introspection. The guidance here is simple yet transformative. Before responding to a circumstance, give yourself the gift of a reflective pause. This intentional break allows you to consider the nature of your emotions and the potential consequences of your response. Let's draw inspiration from the profound words of Buddha. In the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of things not meant for you. These words resonate with the essence of Lesson 1, urging us to prioritize love, approach life with gentleness, and master the art of gracefully releasing what doesn't contribute to our well-being. When faced with a challenging situation, take a conscious breath. Allow yourself to acknowledge the emotions bubbling up within, without judgment. As you breathe, delve into an internal dialogue. How can I respond with love and kindness in this moment? This self-inquiry initiates a process of reflection on the potential impact of your words and actions, not only on your own state of being, but also on the emotional landscape of those around you. By embracing this practice, you empower yourself to respond with heightened awareness, fostering a sense of inner peace and understanding. The power lies in the pause, the intentional reflection that creates space for a more thoughtful and compassionate response to the myriad challenges that life presents. So, in the midst of life's storms, remember to take a breath, reflect, and let your responses be guided by love, gentleness, and the wisdom of letting go. Lesson 2. Practice Dispassion In Buddhism, the art of practicing dispassion invites us to cultivate a mindful and detached approach to our emotions. Instead of being swept away by the intensity of our feelings, this teaching encourages us to take a step back and observe our emotions with a calm and non-judgmental mind. Imagine your emotions as clouds passing by in the vast sky of your awareness. By doing so, you create a mental space, allowing you to gain a more balanced and objective perspective. The essence of this practice is beautifully captured in the words of Buddha, who once said, You will not be punished for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. This profound insight encourages us to recognize that our emotions, particularly intense ones like anger, can have lasting consequences on our well-being. When we cling tightly to anger or let it control our actions, we may inadvertently bring suffering upon ourselves. By practicing dispassion, we learn to let go of the tight grip our emotions can have on us. It's not about suppressing or denying our feelings, but rather about approaching them with a sense of detachment. This detachment allows us to respond to situations more thoughtfully and peacefully, mitigating the potential negative outcomes associated with reacting impulsively. 
The practice of dispassion is an empowering tool that enables us to navigate the complex landscape of emotions with grace. As we detach from the storms of intense feelings, we open the door to a more serene and balanced way of being, fostering emotional resilience and well-being. Lesson 3. See obstacles as opportunities. Within the teachings of Buddhism, the perspective on challenges is transformative. They are seen as gateways to personal and spiritual growth. Rather than viewing difficulties as roadblocks, the philosophy encourages us to embrace them with an open heart, recognizing their potential as powerful catalysts for development. In the words of Buddha, a guiding light in this philosophy, every experience, no matter how bad it seems, holds within it a blessing of some kind. The goal is to find it. This profound insight invites us to shift our mindset when faced with adversity. Instead of seeing obstacles as insurmountable barriers, we are encouraged to perceive them as opportunities for self-discovery and advancement. It acknowledges the inherent wisdom that lies within life's challenges, waiting to be uncovered. Consider the analogy of a seed growing into a mighty tree. The seed faces resistance as it pushes through the soil, yet this struggle is essential for its growth. Similarly, our challenges, though demanding, have the potential to nurture qualities like resilience, patience and wisdom within us. By approaching difficulties with openness, we align ourselves with the natural rhythm of life's ebbs and flows. Buddha's timeless wisdom reminds us that every experience, no matter how daunting, carries a hidden blessing. This does not imply that challenges are devoid of difficulty, but rather, they present opportunities for us to unearth strengths and insights that may have remained dormant in smoother times. The act of finding the blessing in adversity requires a mindset of curiosity and acceptance. So, as you navigate the twists and turns of life, remember the Buddhist lesson of seeing obstacles as opportunities. Embrace challenges with an open heart, knowing that within every struggle lies the potential for profound personal and spiritual growth. In doing so, you align yourself with the wisdom of the universe and open the door to transformative blessings waiting to be discovered on your journey. Lesson 4. Observe, don't react. In this crucial lesson, we explore the profound teachings of observing emotions rather than hastily reacting to them. It's an invitation to develop a heightened state of mindful awareness that empowers you to respond thoughtfully, thereby disrupting the habitual cycle of emotional reactivity that often leads to stress and discord. Imagine your emotions as transient clouds passing through the vast sky of your consciousness. Instead of being swept away by the storms of intense feelings, Buddhism encourages us to stand as the calm observer, watching these emotional clouds come and go. This metaphor embodies the essence of the lesson, creating a mental space that allows you to detach from the immediate intensity of emotions and gain a broader, more nuanced perspective. At the core of this lesson is the timeless wisdom of Buddha. Do not be led by others. Awaken your own mind, amass your own experience, and decide for yourself your own path. These words resonate deeply, urging us to take charge of our emotional responses, encouraging us to resist being swayed by external influences. It prompts us to awaken our inner wisdom gather insights from our unique life experiences and chart our own path based on our individual understanding. Embracing the role of an observer implies stepping back and creating a space between the stimulus and your reaction. This intentional pause offers you the opportunity to choose a response that aligns with your values and long-term well-being. It involves breaking free from automatic reactions and fostering a conscious, intentional way of engaging with your emotions. This lesson calls for dedicating moments each day to self-reflection. 
During these moments, you engage in a non-judgmental exploration of your emotions. Ask yourself why you feel a certain way and contemplate how you can respond with greater understanding and compassion. It's about being fully present in the moment, acknowledging your emotions and consciously deciding how to navigate them. Emphasize that observing your emotions is not about suppressing them. On the contrary, it's a journey towards understanding them more deeply. This mindful approach gradually transforms reactive patterns into thoughtful responses, contributing to a more harmonious and balanced emotional life. So let's embrace the profound wisdom of observation, break free from impulsive reactions, and awaken the power of our own minds on this transformative journey toward emotional mastery. Lesson 5. Befriending Your Shadow In the profound teachings of Buddhism, we encounter the concept of embracing our shadow self, a term that refers to the aspects of ourselves we may tend to shy away from or keep hidden. Picture it as the unexplored corners of our psyche where insecurities, fears, and suppressed emotions reside. Rather than condemning these aspects, Buddhism encourages us to befriend our shadow, acknowledging the existence of both light and dark within us. By adopting an attitude of acceptance and understanding towards our shadow self, we embark on a transformative journey towards self-discovery and wholeness. The process involves shining a compassionate light on the parts of ourselves that we may have neglected or deemed unworthy. It's about recognizing that every facet of our being contributes to the richness of our human experience. Buddha's guidance on this matter is profound. Peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. This wisdom encourages us to look inward for tranquility reminding us that true peace is not found in the external world, but within the depths of our own consciousness. Befriending our shadow becomes a powerful means of discovering inner peace by embracing the totality of who we are, both the radiant and obscure aspects. Befriending your shadow involves self-reflection and self-compassion. It means exploring your fears and insecurities with a non-judgmental mindset, understanding that these aspects are part of the human experience. As you befriend your shadow, you cultivate a more complete and integrated sense of self. This process can lead to greater self-acceptance, increased emotional resilience, and a profound sense of inner harmony. So, let us embark on the journey of befriending our shadow, guided by the wisdom of Buddhism. By embracing the light and dark within, we open the door to a more authentic and fulfilling existence, where peace emanates not from external circumstances, but from the depths of our own being. Lesson 6. Cultivating Awareness of Emotions in the sixth lesson, we explore the art of cultivating awareness of our emotions. It involves paying close attention to the natural ebb and flow of our feelings without rushing to judge them. Picture your emotions as waves, sometimes calm, sometimes turbulent. By observing them with curiosity rather than judgment, we create a space for understanding and acceptance. Imagine waking up in the morning and recognizing the subtle shifts in your emotional landscape. Instead of hastily reacting to each emotion, take a moment to acknowledge its presence. This heightened awareness acts as a powerful tool, providing you with the clarity needed to make conscious choices in response to your feelings. Buddha, in his timeless wisdom, encourages us with the following insight. To enjoy good health, to bring true happiness to one's family, to bring peace to all, one must first discipline and control one's own mind. This quote underscores the importance of cultivating a disciplined and controlled mind through the practice of awareness. Emotional intelligence and resilience blossom from this mindful observation of emotions. You become attuned to the reasons behind your feelings, discerning patterns and triggers, 
This newfound self-awareness not only enhances your ability to navigate life's challenges, but also deepens your connection with others. As you embark on this journey of self-discovery, remember that developing awareness of your emotions is not about perfection, but progress. It's about understanding that emotions, like the ever-changing weather, come and go. By fostering this awareness, you empower yourself to respond to life's fluctuations with a grounded and centered mind, contributing to your overall well-being and the well-being of those around you. Cultivating awareness of emotions is an ongoing practice of self-compassion, allowing you to embrace the richness of your emotional landscape while fostering a sense of peace and balance. So, as you navigate the currents of your emotions, do so with the gentle awareness that you possess the power to shape your responses and ultimately your own state of mind. Lesson 7. Develop Equanimity Life is a roller coaster of highs and lows, and amidst this tumult, striving for a balanced and even tempered state of mind becomes crucial. Equanimity, in simple terms, is like having an emotional anchor that helps you navigate the stormy seas of life. It's about maintaining your composure and inner peace, irrespective of the ups and downs that come your way. Buddha, in his profound wisdom, shared a timeless insight. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. This quote serves as a gentle reminder that amidst life's challenges, you are worthy of treating yourself with kindness and compassion. Equanimity doesn't mean suppressing emotions or becoming indifferent. Rather, it encourages acknowledging your feelings while not letting them overwhelm you. Picture it as a sturdy ship sailing through turbulent waters. The waves may be rough, but the vessel remains steady. In practical terms, Developing equanimity involves cultivating a mindset that doesn't get swayed too much by external circumstances, whether they bring joy or sorrow. To nurture equanimity, consider incorporating mindfulness practices into your daily routine. Mindfulness helps you stay present in the moment, allowing you to respond to situations with a clear and centered mind. Additionally, Fostering gratitude for the positive aspects of your life can contribute to a more balanced emotional state. Remember, just as you'd offer support and understanding to a friend going through tough times, extend the same compassion to yourself. Developing equanimity is a continuous journey, and with patience and self-love, you can build a resilient mindset that withstands the storms of life while cherishing the moments of calm. As you navigate the complexities of existence, may you find solace in the steadiness of your own emotional anchor, embracing the wisdom of equanimity on your path to inner peace. Here, we unraveled seven straightforward yet deeply impactful lessons inspired by Buddhism, offering you practical tools to take charge of your emotions. If these insights resonated with you, Expressing your appreciation is as simple as hitting the thumbs up button. Feel free to share this video with your friends, spreading the wisdom that has touched you. And don't miss out on more valuable lessons by subscribing to our channel. As you continue on your journey towards inner peace, always keep in mind that mindfulness and compassion are your allies. You possess the strength within to master your emotions and cultivate a more harmonious life. Until our next exploration, take good care, beautiful souls.